Throughout this course, we will be looking at three different domains of chemistry. The macroscopic domain is what we can see with our eyes. For example, we can see the three phases of water in this picture, solid water in the form of ice, liquid water, and water vapor as a cloud. The microscopic domain is what we would see if we could see atoms and molecules. Typically, they are actually too small to see with a microscope, so we make drawings to help us picture them. Notice that in each of our phases of water, the water molecules all look the same. One red sphere representing oxygen with two white spheres representing hydrogen. The difference between the three phases is where those water molecules are positioned. In solid water, the molecules are close together and ordered into hexagonal shapes. In liquid water, the molecules are more jumbled around. In water vapor, the molecules are much farther apart. The third domain is the symbolic domain. Rather than drawing pictures all the time, we use symbols to re represent molecules and what they're doing in reactions. For example, we can represent solid water as H2O with an S next to it for solid, liquid water as H2O with an L next to it for liquid, and water vapor as H2O with a G next to it for gas. In the macroscopic domain, we can see that solids have their own shape and volume. Liquids have their own volume, but they take the shape of their container on the sides and on the bottom. On the top, there is a flat surface caused by gravity. Gases take both the shape and full volume of their container. In the microscopic domain, we know that solids are compact and highly ordered. Liquids are less ordered, and generally the molecules are farther apart than in solids. And gases are very disordered, and the molecules are very far apart. Everything is made up of atoms. Atoms are the smallest particle of an element that has the properties of that element. We could have an atom of gold seen through a scanning tunneling microscope, or we could have a whole chunk of gold, and they would have the same properties. If we were to break the gold down below the level of the atom, however, it would no longer have the properties of gold. Atoms can combine together to make molecules. When they combine together, they are connected by chemical bonds. These bonds are like a key ring holding keys together, or the plastic holding a six pack together. We can classify matter into two broad categories pure substances versus mixtures. Each of those categories has two subcategories. Pure substances can be either elements or compounds, and mixtures can be either homogeneous or heterogeneous. We will look at each of these in a little more detail. Pure substances have constant properties and composition. They are made up of the same type of atoms in the same amounts every time. Because of this constant composition, they also have constant properties, such as density or how they react with certain substances. Pure substances could be elements, which have only one type of atom from the periodic table. We would classify the oxygen molecule O2 as an element because there is only one type of atom, oxygen. Compounds are made from multiple types of atoms. For example, water has hydrogen and oxygen, carbon dioxide has carbon and oxygen, and glucose has carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. The numbers of atoms in each compound are fixed. Water always has one oxygen and two hydrogens. Compounds can be broken down chemically. For example, water can be broken down into oxygen and hydrogen. Elements cannot be broken down chemically. Mixtures are multiple pure substances mixed together. The molecules themselves are not changing. Water is still H2O, whether it is by itself or in a mixture. It is just the locations of those molecules and how they are arranged that is changing. Mixtures can be homogeneous or heterogeneous. Homo means same. So homogeneous means that it looks the same throughout the whole mixture. We would say that it is uniform. 
With our eyes, we can't tell the difference between the substances. For example, Gatorade is a homogeneous mixture. It contains water, salts, and sugars, but all we see is a red liquid. Hetero means different. So heterogeneous means we can see the different substances. For example, in Italian salad dressing, or when we mix oil and vinegar, we can see the different parts.